If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over a few things. Potentially a free Wildcard Wednesday player, some free Wildcard Wednesday flashback power-ups, the new flashbacks in-game with the best quarterback in the game as of now. We got some pretty good players, guys. Flashbacks are back, but in a good way. Typically, in the last few years, flashbacks have been trash. I call the veteran heavyweight and flashback promo the slow promos, the, uh, the bum promos. Every flashback was pretty good. They, I've never, it's been years in Madden since a flashback card dropped, and we said this is the best card at their position. It's been years, and that's already a case. Some people, uh, so Craylon Stream said, you know, 88 could be a little bit low for some standards. I don't think so. If you had dropped flashbacks in September, like you did last year, like the second week of September, and then only gave us 87s like they did last year, I'd be like, yeah, that's low because we have 90s. But you just dropped an 88 overall Danny Dimes, who is tied for the highest overall at the base league position, like Aaron Donald and Mahomes. So, no, that's good with good stats too. These cards have good stats. But before we get into the video, if you guys want to pick up these flashbacks, which I highly recommend you do, head on down below to Mutt Reserve. You can pick up training and coins there. Make sure to use code Poodle 15% off your, uh, your order. Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And today's Poodle Squad shout out goes out to Dalton Duquette. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. If you want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, like the video, sub, and comment. Poodle Squad. But yeah, let's get into this, guys. We have a few things here to go over. First things first, guys, when you get into the game right now, you want to go play your solo challenges. If you go ahead, you're able to go into the flashbacks here, and you play through these challenges. If you get max stars and all these, right? Now, the problem is to get max stars, you're going to need more solos. So right now, all there was was the weekly flashbacks. If you play all five of these guys, you do get a free fantasy pack, which I do already have uh, for the power-up. So you can get Minka Fitzpatrick, David Irving, AJ Brown, David Johnson, and Daniel Jones. Now, in my opinion, Daniel Jones is probably the best one, followed by Minka. Now, if you look through the milestones here, there will be more Wildcard Wednesday uh, power challenges weekly. So if you look at it, at 20 stars, you get a Wild uh, Wildcard Wednesday fantasy pack. So that does mean you will be able to get a fantasy player for Wildcard Wednesday, one of the players that come out. If you go further again, you get another one, you get another one, you get another one. And if you go all the way down, you will eventually see around 240 stars, I believe, a Wildcard Wednesday fantasy pack, right? So... They're going to be pretty much fantasy packs all the way throughout. Now, I'm kind of hoping that these are players and they're not just power-ups, right? But if you look, it's possible that they are just power-ups. I have to go see what mine is first on the other end of it. But it is exciting. If it's just fantasy packs, guys, that's cool. Um, I, I mean, I'm assuming they're all going to be power players. But if not, if they give us actual players, that'd be cool. But it's probably going to be fantasy players, which fantasy power players, which I'm okay with because honestly, these power-ups sometimes, like, they're giving us power-ups with you guys, which I like. And sometimes they can be really expensive when they drop them into the game, and so they're pulled a lot, and people are going to be using them. So, I kind of like that. Every week, I could be like, okay, I like that guy. I'm taking him. And then if there's two guys that I like, then I got to go buy the other one. Horns of Kralo in the stream. These wildcard Wednesday fantasy packs are supposed to actually be 87-plus overalls, um, re relating probably to the wildcard Wednesday drop. So, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work regarding that, but that is what he said in the stream. That's kind of what he hinted at. Could some of these be a few power-ups? Could they, like I said, I say in the video... Some of them could be power-ups, some could be some 87 pluses, but that is exciting to see as we will be getting some throughout the year, all the way up until the 240 stars, which is going to be the, the, the 87 plus, obviously, um, the last one there. Now, again, as it goes through the year, it remains to be seen, but these could take a few weeks. Hopefully, we do get more milestones throughout the week, so it will be quicker to get through all of them. That's just the nature of it, but I do think it's generous that they give us at least one. So make sure you play those solos, guys. They take literally, I did all five of them in like five minutes. They're the quickest solos I've ever played in Madden. Make sure you guys go get that done. Uh, so we have our fantasy pack here. As you guys can see, so we do have this pack on the screen. Flashbacks Power Fantasy Pack. I'm going to open that up real quick. I'm going to also open up a flashback pack as well in just a second after I show you guys the players. So we got the, we got the ones here. I'm going to go ahead and take my Daniel Jones here. I think it's a pretty obvious selection for me. I'm a Giants fan, guys. Saquon and Danny Dimes start the year off right. It just feels good to me, in my opinion. Next on over, let's go over to the marketplace. Let's look at, take a look at some of the players, and then we will be opening up a flashback fantasy pack. Oh, not fantasy pack, flashback training pack. Sorry. Open up, I'm gonna open up one for you guys. Let's see if we can get Danny Dimes. I mean, if we could, that'd be great. Uh, if not, I'm gonna have to go ahead and buy him, right? That's just how it's gonna go. So let's go, so let's, surp, let's sort by uh, flashbacks here. So Danny Dimes is actually going for 170. So that's pretty good. So if I pull Danny Dimes, it's a pretty good value, honestly, uh, considering the training at Cook to get him really isn't that much i mean let's see you can get an 87 or you can get an 88 right now for like 120k so technically if you pull daniel jones you make like 50 to 40k and if you pull one of the lower ones you honestly don't you don't make coins but training wise you only lose 300 training so we got david irving here uh take a look at his stats and you guys probably saw him already so i'll briefly go over 
82 speed, 87 excel, 88 finesse move. Going to be a great finesse move rusher if you get him powered up with the stuff on him, with his uh, strategy cards, as well as the fact they all get powered up. It's a huge W. David Johnson for the Cardinals, powered up as well. He can get 89 speed and 90 excel off the rip. That's going to be one of the fastest backs in the game or tied for it. Plus the break tackle and truck, one of the best running backs in the game. Going to be really good. And David Johnson... I consider that a big name, honestly. I, I would. I consider it a big name. I mean, obviously, in recent years, he has not been, but he's still one of the bigger names in terms of Madden, I suppose, or in terms of, you know, people who have watched football a few years, for a few years at least. AJ Brown, 88 speed. So, powered up, he'll get 89 speed with 88 deep route running. Going to be a really, really good card. Uh, is he meta? Probably not, but he's still really good in comparison to some of the other guys here. And then, of course, you have Minka Fitzpatrick, who's really good. Uh, he is going to be six foot one. Powered up and chemed up, guys. He will get 89 speed with 90 excel. Going to be borderline Ed Reed right there, which is why I really like him. He will get 88 zone, which means you could possibly get him to an a, a 90 zone as well. So he'll be him and Ed Reed are going to be goons. In my opinion right now, I kind of want Minka Fitzpatrick and Ed Reed on my team. I think that's the way I'm kind of leaning here. So if I pull Minka, I'm probably keeping him, quite honestly. If I pull, So, I mean, it's, it's pretty good odds. If I pull David Irving, AJ Brown, or David Johnson, I'm selling them. I'm quick selling them back for training. And if I pull Minka, I'm keeping him, and Daniel Jones, I'm keeping him. That's kind of the route I'm leaning towards here. So there's quite a few good ones. I've never had a, I've never had a power up or wild card Wednesday or a flashback drop where I was like, all right, this is gonna be good, right? So this is exciting. Let's go to browse the store. Let's go test our luck here. Can we pull? Can we pull a good one? So let's go over to training offers. As you guys can see, guys, it's gonna be 1850. So let me break the math down for you. An 87 overall player, you can get 87 plus, right? An 87 overall player quick sells for I believe around 1500. So if you pull him, you lose about 300 training, give or take, which approximately 300 training right now is probably like 25K. So you really don't lose 25K. So it's not the end of the world. But if you get another player, you get an 88 like Daniel Jones, they go for like 2,100. So you're making like give or take 300 again. So at the end of the day, you're not really losing here. I mean, it's not it's not a high risk. It's not high risk, but it's not really high reward either because the chance of getting Daniel Jones are pretty low considering there's four of them. But Minka Fitzpatrick's a dub coin wise. So again, I feel like there's two dubs here. So it's really like, it's a decent, like maybe 25 to 30% chance that you get a dub out of this. So I'm, I don't mind it. It's a good chance to try it, especially for the content. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Again, Daniel Jones and Minka is all I really want here. There's still a chance I pull either one. Hopefully we can do it. So let's pull this pack. 1850 training. We have just enough training to do so. Please give me Minka or give me Daniel Jones. I'll be cool with that. That's a really cool pack animation. I really do like that. David Johnson. Damn. All right. So I'm probably going to go ahead and I'll probably quick sell him for training. I'm going to hold on to him. I don't know if I want to go for training yet or coins because I kind of do need the coins for the new Saquon Barkley. So I'm going to debate. I also need training for Daniel Jones. This is tough. I'm going to have to think about this. going to be a thinker. I lost during the training, which kind of sucks. But uh, like I said, it's high risk, high reward. It's kind of the, the nature of this. But guys, I'm not dumb. I had a contingency plan. I bought Daniel Jones already because I need Daniel Jones on the squad. So he's already here. I got him. I had to pick him up. So we got Daniel Jones. 94k for david johnson okay he's actually going up in price if he gets up to like the one 107 range right there i'll probably give him a quick sell uh it's not bad so i mean D david johnson's good right if we compare him real quick maybe i could rock with him for weekend lee honestly i mean he's decent no, i have saquon coming out you compare him to saquon he's faster he has better excel i mean obviously he's a higher overall better carrying better catching better trucking by a lot better break david johnson's good david okay you compare him to the new saquon they're gonna have the same speed similar excel uh, a little less agility. He's going to have better carrying, better catching. He's borderline the new Saquon Barkley. I mean, this is a good card. This is a good card. I mean, I, I kind of underrated it. David Johnson's a good card. Actually, might have been one of the better ones to pull once, once people realize that he's a good card. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, Check his price again. 90K. Okay, so yeah, he's a good card, though. Don't sleep on this uh, Don't sleep on this David Johnson card at all. How? What's his weight looking like? Does it show you on here? I, I don't think so, right? Oh, 224. So yeah, Saquon's still 233, which is going to give him an edge. But David Johnson's good. It's a good card. And then, of course, you have Daniel Jones, the best quarterback in the game, guys. We're looking at 85 speed with 89 throw power. Powered up on my on my team. And I have an 86 speed with 90 throw power. He may get escape artist. I'm not sure. He may, he may get some good abilities. Uh, he probably gets the deep accuracy threshold. Powered up with, like, elite pass or something on him. He's going to be good. He might get the throw on the run threshold. I really, really like this card. This is a great card. But, guys, I pretty much wrapped up today's video. A few last notes. Kralo did reach out and say that they are working on people who got banned. They're working on some people who got locked out of mutt. They're working on a lot of the mutt problems. So hopefully it does get fixed pretty soon. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. And yeah.
If you want to be shout out on the Poodle Squad, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad. Turn the noti bell if you need coins, heading down to Mutt Reserve. Use code Poodle for check. I check off 15% off in order to go ahead and pick up some of these players. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.